Hey there, Social Blade fans, Dave here, and today we're going to be looking into music sources. Yes, that's right. You can't just go onto iTunes, you know, iTunes or Amazon and pick out music that you've purchased and upload them onto your YouTube videos. That's copyright infringement. And of course, you can do that, but there's a, a very long and complex process of uh, contacting the artists, the record labels, and getting written permission, then providing that to YouTube or whoever you can, and that's just a huge process. I highly recommend just skipping that, going the quick, the quick and simple route of simply going and finding royalty-free music. There's a few sources that I want to point out. The first one is joshwoodward.com, and then there's incompetech.com. You've probably heard of at least one or two of these, and they're fantastic because the artist, they offer their music for free, and they license it under Creative Commons Attribution. This means all you have to do is simply credit them in the description below or in the video. Hey, even both, why not? So you can use these, their Creative Commons Attribution, meaning you credit them, and they're free to use in any of your productions. Go to the FAQ part of their website, though, because sometimes these websites do offer uh, the ability to credit in a specific way. They require that, at least. And so you want to check that over. It's a good thing to go over anyway. So in Competech and joshwoodward.com, both fantastic sites. They offer their music for free, and you can use them online or any of your projects. Now, another place to go and get your royalty-free music is a paid service like digitaljuice.com. Yes, not all royalty-free music tracks are free. So you could pay for these too, and the one website that I recommend and have used in the past is called digitaljuice.com. They've got a bunch of things to use, including music and sound effects. The nice thing about this website, though, is you do not have to credit them in any way because you probably paid a big price. And so that's nice. You can use their tracks in any way, form you want, chop them up, put them in any video in any order you wish, and you're good to go without crediting. So that's pretty cool. Now, that is all we have to really go over. Guys, feel free to subscribe because this is a new weekly series coming out. We're going to be calling this the YouTube Tip of the Week, brought to you by Social Blade, of course. We're going to be going over multiple different subjects that will help you spice up your videos here at YouTube. Thanks for watching, commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll see you next week.